Okay, we're gonna have a look at making a bottle using the sketch technique. So here we go. I'm gonna choose a sketch, choose a plane. One of the side planes is good. I'm just gonna move my page down a little bit and I'm gonna go from the center point upwards and I'm gonna go for maybe 100 mil. Okay, I'm gonna come from there. I'm gonna come across, I'm zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go for 10 mil. And I'm also gonna come down on that same line, 10 mil. And I'm going to finish there, right click and say OK. I'm going to come down to the bottom of my line. And I'm going to draw a straight line again. This time I'm going to come out maybe uh, maybe 30, maybe 25, something like that. 20 will do. OK. I'm going to swap over now and I'm going to go for a arc, a three point arc. Now, with a three point arc, it basically wants you to know where your start point is, which is going to be there for the first one maybe a end point which can be about here and then a midpoint so somewhere in between to make a curve shape I'll go for that one I'll do so there's my first one I'm going to use the same tool again I'm going to go for the three pointed arc I'm going to do my first point my last point and a midpoint you can see it trying to lock to different positions there if I zoom in Got more control over the lock. You can lock to different positions there. Go for that one. Zoom back out again, and I'm going to finish off with the same tool again. Now I could have used any of these drawings. I didn't have to use arcs, but you'll see why I've done that in a minute. So end point, start point, and one in the middle. Something like that will do. Okay, so I'm going to click stop sketch, and if you'll see now, if I go into my isometric view. There's my kind of um, silhouette of a shape. It's doing nothing, but I can actually now go in and I can do what's called a revolve. Choose revolve. It says, where's the profile? Click on the profile. Click on the axis. Where's the axis? I want to go along this one here. Watch what happens when I click. There you go. Bang, all the way around. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to accept those values. I'm not going to change anything. There's a bottle shape. It's not doing an awful lot of anything at the moment. Um, but you can see that it's very easy to make and I can do some things like if I want to add a screw thread onto the top of it I can go for that and just find my thread there's thread click on this part now I don't necessarily want the thread to be that kind of thread I can change all the things to do with the thread on here afterwards um, I'll leave it on what it was on there because it looked okay but I'm gonna say I don't want it to be full length I want it to be maybe half the length something like that I can play around with it. I can always come back and edit it again later and then finally what I might want to do is I might want to go for a shell okay shell basically means take the inside out so I'm going to click on this top surface here okay it's shelling it to 0.29 of a mil that's probably too skinny so I'm going to swap that to a one and get rid of those and put two zeros in so it's going to be one mil thick on the inside click OK and if I swing it around so you can see it there's the inside of my bottle so that's a very quick way of doing it now if I wanted to I can always go back in I can right click and I can edit my sketch let's just click off it first go back you can't quite see on the screen I've right clicked on edit sketch there's my profile I could come back in and I can change some of these things if I wanted to change the angles and see what happens on, on this if I make it bigger and smaller flick back out again by saving the sketch and it's, you can now see the new curvature. So it's still taken these same commands that came afterwards. So I can edit it at any point. I might decide that this is, looks way too weird now. So I'll go back and edit it again. But that's how you do using a sketch.